What is going on ladies and gentlemen? We're back yet again with another video. We got the Bob back out. We have something very exciting once again. I told you part two of uh, this little review series that we got going here is gonna be uh, gonna be dropping. So uh, welcome to part two of this. Um, we got something in the mail again from Kemimoto and these are actually gonna be a set of saddle bags that they sent me to try out here. So it should be pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> I actually lost the box so I moved some stuff around, had to use the box for something else, but uh, these things actually came in a real nice box from Amazon, and they're packaged really well. I kind of ripped them open already just to make sure everything was, was in here before I made the video, so thank you Kemimoto again for sending me this stuff. We're going to check it out, get it out, of the, get it out of the packaging here, and we're going to see what it's about. Hopefully we'll throw them on the bob. As you all can see. We have the thrash and supply bags on it right now, which I really enjoy those things. Um, but if, if these ones don't work, the new ones don't work on the bob, I'm actually probably gonna see about putting them on the shadow inside. But uh, we got the bob looking nice now. Got her looking sweet with some white walls. And uh, there's a lot of stuff coming for this thing, so stay tuned. So let's get started on today's video here. And let me uh, grab this stuff and we'll get them all wrapped, unwrapped out of the packaging, like I said. And, uh, Thank you again, Kamimoto, for presenting me with the opportunity to be able to review some of your products. So uh, let's get started. All right, guys. So like I said here, we uh, they actually sent these in a, in a nice box for me. Um, but like I said, I kind of had to use a box for something else that came up. Uh, so sorry about that. But it just came in a standard, you know, Amazon shipping box. Nothing too special or crazy. Um, but it came in this nice little packaging here. They are saddlebags, so you're not going to damage them. But let's get them ripped open here and see what it's what we have inside. So right off the rip here, look to be a little smaller than what it appeared online. Um, but looks can be deceiving. Let me let me get it all unwrapped for you. Is pretty sweet actually okay the part I'm trying to figure out is how they mount so it looks like they'll probably just mount up right under the seat kind of like how I have the thrashing ones I guess we'll see so uh there's one bag let me get the other one out traffic man traffic aha that's what I'm looking for okay kind of figured okay so there's gonna be something some stuff with having to tie knots all right all right so uh, we got them unwrapped here so this is what the saddlebags look like so they're kind of leather feeling a little bit um, but seems like they're they'd be kind of waterproof uh, if you run into some weather issues I got a buckle right here you unbuckle it looks like you just raise it up have have a little bit of storage um, it's not a lot of storage, unfortunately. You know, this would be good for probably a short trip or something, or if you're going to the grocery store and have to pick up a couple little things. Uh, but then again, you do have two of them, so that would be them. Uh, you have this nice, like, belt buckle kind of thing going on on the top, which I was a little confused about because I didn't see any clips or anything that came with it. But uh, actually, if you get these, open them up. There's a set of directions in there, which I'm gonna have to read it, read these because I see some form of zip ties and a long piece of string. So I'm assuming you're gonna have to tie some stuff together here. Uh, so I might have to do a little cowboy Troy kind of thing here and see, see, what, see what we got going on. So let me check the directions out and uh, we'll see what's up. We'll take the old bags off the bike and throw these things on and see, see, how, they, uh, see how they look. Honestly, this looks pretty straightforward. Obviously you have your right bag here. I would assume it's gonna be the right bag. You have your left one that goes on the left side. So these pieces here will uh, stack up sort of like that. Um, and then we're gonna have to run two strings through the holes and kind of zigzag them that way they stay. And you have to kind of knot them together, I would assume. So uh, let's go show you how to get these, these old bags off here. And then we'll throw these things on just to see, what it, see what's going on. So let me bring the camera over there and uh, show you how that's done. So on my bike, I still use the stock uh, bolt here to hold the seat in, which is a 19 mil socket. So uh, step number one, obviously, I'm gonna take these old bags off. We're gonna get this bolt out of here, pop the seat off, and then uh, we'll 
give us some space to work with here. Of course I dropped it. Don't do that. Uh, don't lose your washer either. You're gonna need it. So once you got the bolt out, simply pick up your seat, slide it off. Comes off like butter. Thank you, Saddleman. And uh, obviously we're gonna disconnect these old bags here. Get them off. Uh, take out the belt loops. Uh, now that we got all the stuff off, I was just kind of eyeballing these things up and they're a lot different than the thrashing bag, so I'll do a little comparison for you just to see the size difference. So this is your typical thrashing escape bag for the soft tail. Um, these kind of seem like a universal fitting kind of bag uh, also as well as the thrashing bags, but um, they kind of hook up a little differently. So the thrashing bag here actually has a Velcro strap that just kind of hooks on. You have your bottom loops that'll loop into the brackets that they provide. Get those out of the way. Um, the Kemimoto bags, which is gonna have this little belt loop buckle kind of thing. So I'm kind of curious how this is gonna work. So what we're gonna do is actually pre-tie these before we get them on the bike, because I feel like it's gonna be a little easier to do it this way. Uh, so they provide you with some string so we're gonna have to figure that out real quick, I guess. It's kind of like tying a shoe right here. So in the directions, they kind of just tell you to make little X's on the, on the belt loops here. So I don't know. So we're gonna go up, through. So you kind of want to make two little X's, it looks like. So you're gonna start at the bottom right hole here and then come under. And it looks like you want to cross up and over diagonally. You cross up. You're going to bring it back down. It looks like the diagonal side. And back over. And then back through once again. And then that is going to allow you underneath here to tie these things together. Same thing here, but on the opposite end, you're just going to end up crossing them. So you're going to take it. There's probably a far better way to do this, but this is the way I'm doing it. And if you're better at tying knots and stuff, good for you. This is in my forte, but you know we're figuring it out. <laughs> so opposite side, start under, and then you don't want to have a X kind of kind of pattern here when you go over so pretty straightforward when you get everything tied up here I don't know how well the camera is gonna pick that up uh, you're gonna have two X's and then you're gonna want to take everything now that it's tight tight and you're just gonna tie some knots in these things I assume I'm more of an old-school knot tire so don't judge me on, on my skills here because I'm pretty bad at that but in the end scheme of things that's what mine looks like looks like a third grader did it but uh, you get the concept here um, so let's go put these things on the bike it should just drop down and by my guess you know the seats gonna hold this down so I'm just gonna drop them on right there You get the concept kind of here of how, you know, ignore that little mess. Like I said, just kind of figuring out how the, how you want to run it. It seems like there's a little bit excessive amount of string that they give you there. Um, so do as you please. You can probably cut it and shorten it, but uh, it seems a little extra than more, a little more extra than what you really need. But that's how they kind of look without the seat on, which honestly... They look pretty dang good on there. A lot better than I thought they were gonna be. So uh, let's get the seat back on, and uh, we'll see how they look with the seat. Nice and simple. Slider on. Get your bolt.
Tighten it up. There you have it. So uh, that's what they look like on the bike there. Honestly, not too bad. They uh, a little small for my liking personally, but um, kind of look good. Like I said, a nice fast way. And then like I said, these buckle right here. So a little bit of storage, not much. And you can throw your gloves in there. Or snack, your lunch for the day. Um, nothing crazy though. Uh, me personally, I like having a bigger bag on my bike. So example, I ride this bike to the gym a lot. I throw my shoes in there, sweatshirt, uh, you know, water bottle and stuff. So it doesn't look like you can honestly fit that much in these, but nonetheless, like I said, a nice little quick thing to, uh, to use on the go, it looks like, and they look pretty nice. Just personally, not my flavor. If I had to rate them on a one to 10 scale, I'd probably give them like a seven out of 10 on here. Uh, just because the downfall of them is they are kind of small, a lot smaller than they seemed from the little ad. Uh, but nonetheless, very good bag. Uh, seems very sturdy. Um, and yeah, thanks Kemi Moto for letting me try these things out here. Uh, I'm not gonna do a little ride review on this thing just because it, it's a saddle bag. <laughs> I mean, they're, I know how it works. The pressure of the seat and everything's gonna hold it down. They're not, they're not going anywhere as long as you have them tied down. Um, they're really sturdy. The bag looks loose, but it's not. They're, uh, they're, 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 they're definitely snug on there. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Like I said, Kenny Moto, thank you guys for letting me try them out. I'll put a link in the description if you guys want to check them out. Um, real cheap uh, bags, not quality-wise, but price-wise. Nice, cheap, and effective way to get some, some storage out of your bike. Uh, I'm curious how these look on the Honda Shadow, though, so we'll see about that. But... Uh, We'll see. We'll see. I kind of like them though. They, they're nice. Nice little storage option. And honestly, you can probably mount them somewhere else on the bike here. I'm just curious where, but uh, I'm digging them. So uh, give you a nice little walk around one more time on there. And uh, heck yeah. All right, guys. So uh, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed this. Um, thank you again, like I said, to Kami Moto for getting in touch with me and allowing me the opportunity to uh, review some of your stuff here. I hope that was a pretty straightforward video. Super easy install. If I had to give it out of five wrenches, it's literally a wrench out of five on an install. Uh, five on the wrench install if you're like me and cannot tie knots properly, but uh, just kidding. It's a very easy install. They just drop on there, like I said, and they're, they're really well put together bags. Uh, like I said, I'll drop a link in the description below. If you guys want to check them out, go ahead and check them out. Um, but that should be it guys uh, thank you all for tuning into this video and I'll uh, see you in the next one make sure you like comment and subscribe and we got some special stuff coming for this thing uh, I don't want to give it away just yet but uh, we're gonna get this thing ready to head down to Daytona bike week uh, in March of 23 so that should be really exciting we got some a lot of parts for this bike coming on the way and we ended up picking something else up uh, I believe last week now so I'm excited. We're going to do some fun stuff with that thing. So I guess I will see you all in the next video. And thanks for tuning in. Like, comment, subscribe, and drop your comments, feedback. Uh, what do you guys think of the bags? And uh, see you in the next video.